Jillian's a psychiatrist, so I think that I sort of, I'm the, the human side of the lie. Um, I help Cal Lightman, Tim's character, get, we're both about the why behind the lie, not just the lie itself, because we obviously all lie, but it's, it's just sort of the reasons behind it and what drives us to continue lying. I've come back into season two uh, newly divorced. I think it's more fun for the writers to have to build sort of a tension between Foster and Lightman, um, which to, for me it's always better when, you know, it doesn't come to fruition. It sort of stays tense and back and forth, that kind of thing. That's definitely much more fun to play. And it'll be fun to see what happens to Foster. If there's a side of Foster that we haven't seen before, you know, the dating side of Foster. I've heard that um, I get involved in some kind of a, a cult-like storyline, which um, will be great because I'm sort of obsessed with that kind of thing anyway. I'm, I always find it very interesting. Um, also, I think we go to Vegas, which could be uh, a lot of trouble. There's some little backstory that they're sort of folding in that something happened in Vegas or either. It would be funny if I was the gambler and it wasn't Lightman. Mackay, it's uh, great to have Mackay on uh, as, a, as a full regular. It's really, he's fun to, to have around, and it's great that he, we don't, he can be the cop and take care of that sort of, you know, toughness, and uh, we don't have to play cop all the time. Having Mackay there really will take us into situations that in the next episode, I think I have to actually kind of go in and be cop-like and sort of get somebody to come out of a bar, and it's kind of funny that I, you know, tossle my hair or sort of unbutton a button and figure I'm ready and he just looks at me like, you know, I'm just sort of pathetic. And I, I like that element to it, sort of the geekiness of, of, um, of Foster. Um, and having Jennifer Beals here too is great because that is another layer that um, will be interesting to see where they, where they take us. She, um, there's talk of her leaving DC and going someplace else and she ends up staying and it involves shares of our company and things like that that I'm not as happy about but hopefully you'll get to see at least on my side it'll be nice to, to have that sort of what our relationship is as I'm his work spouse and uh, I'm Cal's work spouse and she's his ex-spouse and sort of that dynamic. So last year when it would happen, it was a little disconcerting when I would be in a restaurant and I would be talking to a waiter and I'd see a little something or if I would um, you know, talking to my kids, I mean, our, uh, you know, it happens all the time, them giving us huge tells, like the batting of the eyes when my daughter looks at me. What? What? I didn't... That's, that's true. And now I just, um, I see it much more clearly, so it's kind of fun. I haven't really called a lot of people on stuff, but I just notice a lot more. I think Lightman is charming despite himself. You know, it's like he doesn't mean to be charming, and yet he completely is. I mean, he's sort of that friendly curmudgeon, and that's one of the things I think that we all love about Lightman.